Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing my empties video for you. I have this massive drawer full of products from the last three months. I actually had to empty them into this bigger drawer because I used to keep it in one that was half the size and I just ran out of room. So I do have lots of things to talk about, um, including quite a few makeup products, you'll be pleased to know. <laughs> I know most people's empties are full of hair products and usually, I don't know, I don't find those as interesting in an empties video, so I'm gonna really whip through my hair products fast. Firstly, I have one of my matte texturizing sprays from Tony & Guy. This is my favorite texturizing spray. For a reasonable cost i haven't tried any of the really expensive ones but this one does a really good job i absolutely love this and yes i will repurchase it i've already repurchased it before i did however try out their just tease perfect tease dry shampoo because they were out of stock of the texturizing spray and i don't like this as much it's a good dry shampoo but it doesn't offer any of the sort of texturizing volumizing quality that i like of the other one so i wouldn't repurchase this one again unless i was in a real pinch um, and i would absolutely repurchase the matte texture spray also, if you're interested, I do have a tutorial on this look that was my last video from my May Face and Favourites, if you are curious. I also have the John Frieda Frizzies Heat Def... Ooh, what is this called? Heat Defect... Def Man, I can't read. Heat Defeat... I keep going to say Heat Defect. Why would... <laughs> heat Defeat... Heat Defeat protecting spray wasn't a big fan of the spray on this one it seemed to be a little bit intense so sometimes i'd get more like wet patches through my hair rather than just a nice fine even cover so uh, i mean it's not bad but it didn't wow me so i probably wouldn't grab that one again of course i have a batiste dry shampoo if you do not have one of these in your empties are you even a beauty guru I love Batiste. It's a really good dry shampoo and it's very affordable. So yes, I would repurchase that again. I have two hair recipe products. And as you can see from this one, it's not actually empty. So this was their strawberry and mint cleansing shampoo. I just found this to be too harsh and drying for my hair, especially since I've bleached it even more. Um, I need like hair products that's quite hydrating. And I just found, because this is like a cheap shampoo, it's full of like sulfates and stuff. I'm pretty sure it's got... Yeah, sodium laurel and sodium laurel. It is designed to be a clarifying shampoo, like something that really strips your hair of all your gunk, but it just strips my hair too much of its moisture. Um, so I got given this one in PR, but I wouldn't recommend it or buy it again. And I also tried their moisture hair food mask. So this is a honey and apricot, kind of like a hair mask, heavy moisturizer. This one was just full of silicon, so it made my hair feel extremely kind of slippy, um, but it didn't actually really provide it with much moisture. This one I did use up though, um, but I wouldn't repurchase it. I did make it through one of my little Olaplex um, number three. So when you go and get Olaplex done at a salon, I get it put in my bleach when I get my hair done so it protects my hair during the bleaching process. When you're getting your bleach rinsed out at the sink, um, they use a number two step, which is sort of like a deep conditioner. And then you get to take home a little number three, which is once a week, uh, it's like a once a week treatment to use between your chemical services. I though don't use it once a week. I use it probably about once a month because I'm really bad at remembering to do it. Um, and also I don't get my hair done that often. I'm not, I don't get a scalp lightener so I don't need to go every six weeks. I go at least every six months. Um, at most I'd go to the salon three to four months. But yeah, so I can get away with one of these bottles lasting me about six months if, if I want to. I really, really recommend Olaplex though if you are going to have your hair lightened because it will save it from falling out. <laughs> and then the last hair product I have, I've put it in a plastic bag because I got it out of my shower and are a bit wet. But they are... I went through a Blonde Angel and Blonde Angel Wash from Kevin Murphy. So these are purple shampoo and conditioner. And I have repurchased these in the past and, oh yeah, by the way, I would repurchase the Olaplex and I already have, it's in my shower now. Um, but yes, I would repurchase these again, but right now I'm really enjoying the Matrix one. Um, I think it's called the Brass Off. So, and it is a little bit cheaper than the Kevin Murphy. Kevin Murphy's pretty expensive and I do find that it's a little bit stronger. So I get a better toning effect with the Matrix. However, these smell absolutely beautiful. Like they make your hair smell so good and they are very kind and nourishing on my hair. Like my hair feels really good, in really good condition when I use these. So I kind of switch between them. Um, I'm not always like they run out and I buy more. It's just that if I have the funds and I want to treat myself, I will buy these. I also really like the bottles. They're very cute. Now let's move on to skincare. So I went through, I probably went through more of these, but this was one of the ones I managed to save. Some Swiss Biz cotton rounds. I usually have no strong attachment to a specific kind of cotton round. So I will just buy whatever's at the store and I usually grab them from Priceline and that's a brand they stock there. So I guess I would buy them again, but I'm not like super attached to them or anything. 
And what I used the cotton pads mostly for is with my Bioderma, which I went through a big size of this. I love this stuff. I've probably gone through about five or six bottles of this over my time, of the Bioderma specifically. I've tried other brand micellar waters, but haven't liked them as much. This is one I like the best. However, I have repurchased it, but I've repurchased the slightly smaller size because I have a new way of taking off my makeup. I use the Chloe Morello Face Halo Makeup Removers, so I don't actually need any makeup removing product for day to day. I just keep this micellar water around though for if I'm wearing a very bold like liquid lipstick or some glitter on my eyes or something where I'm wearing a bit heavier makeup and I just kind of want to get them off or get it off with some Bioderma before I go in with the face halo. So I've just repurchased a smaller size because I think that small size will last me a long time. I do have two little Daiso brush cleaners. I actually went through, I finished up one, I only had a little bit left and I went through a whole nother bottle um, when I cleaned literally every brush in my collection. <laughs> I did like a massive clean, usually when I clean brushes I'll just clean like the ones I'm using regularly and I'll just go and clean those for you and that's all I need to clean because I don't worry about the other ones but I am actually decluttering a heap of my brushes and obviously before I donate those brushes I wanted to make sure they were nice and clean so I cleaned literally every brush in my collection picked out all the ones I wanted to keep and then put the other ones in a bag to donate so all my brushes are clean but it took like a, nearly a bottle and a half of this stuff to do it. This stuff is amazing. It's very inexpensive I really like using it for when I do my big massive deep cleans of all my brushes um, But I'm not sure if they make this anymore. I've, I've had it stockpiled for ages I think I still have one bottle left of the old formula But I remember going in there and they didn't have any more of that and they had this new one and I bought it and I didn't like it So if I can still get this old version, I would repurchase it But if not, I'll just stick with my beauty blender cleanser solid the next product I have is the Shu Amura Ambush Cleansing Oil. I got given this in PR, but I didn't actually use it on my face. So this is a really funny thing. With the Drunk Elephant Vitamin C Serum, actually I've got one here to show you, I'll talk about soon, but this product, when you use it and you leave it on your skin, it smells really bad throughout the day. Like, I can't smell it on my face, but if I kind of put my hands near my, near my nose, even if I wash my hands after applying it, it has this weird kind of like, sort of cracker, like a cheese cracker smell, it's real gross. Um, but I found the only way to avoid that is to wash my hands with a cleansing oil after I apply the vitamin C. The, obviously, I wouldn't recommend going out and buying some bougie cleansing oil to do it, but I didn't really like this on my face because it was so fragrant. So I wanted to use it up though, um, and I found that using it as a hand cleansing oil was really nice. I think I'm gonna repurchase like a really cheap, like a Muji cleansing oil or something, like something very basic, doesn't have to be fancy to do my hands in future. But I do actually have another bottle of this, which I've now put in my bathroom to use up. Um, it works really well. It's a good cleansing oil. It's just that it had um, a lot of fragrance in it and I don't really like fragrance in my skincare. So I wouldn't repurchase this, but it did work very well. So as I just mentioned, I do have a Drunk Elephant Sea Firmer that I have used up um, and I'm quite sad because I had a backup in my cupboard, um, which you shouldn't keep backups of this product because it can oxidize. But I got sent one in PR and I was like trying to quickly use this one up so I could get onto it, but unfortunately it has already oxidized. So my new one as well, um, it's not like super oxidized, but it's already a bit too orange for my liking. So I'm gonna have to go and buy another one um, just because I love this stuff, but yeah, I, I want to be using it if it's in good condition. So don't store your vitamin C serums. Like, wait for it to run out and then go and buy it because otherwise you'll have what happened to me. I did have it sitting there for about six months unused, my new one, um, so that's probably why. They usually only last about six months or so before they'll start to oxidize. I also went through a TLC serum, which was great, and I have a backup of this that I've already opened as well. So I absolutely love this stuff. I would highly recommend both of these serums. They're probably some of the best things about Drunk Elephant's line. I think people see the most results when they add these in, even if you don't want to fully transition over to like all Drunk Elephant products. Um, if you only want to buy one or two, I'd pick up the serums. I also ran out of my Lala Retro Whipped Cream, which I originally found a little bit heavy for my skin. And then as we started to get into the cooler months, I found my skin really craving something a little bit heavier than just a marula oil like I felt like I wanted a night cream as well so I whipped this out and I loved this and it really worked for me in the cooler months I was absolutely going to uh, repurchase this but I managed to find actually a sunscreen from a brand which obviously when that finishes that'll be in my empties at some stage but it's a sunscreen from a Kiwi brand that actually fits the drunk elephant 
sort of philosophy of not containing any of the suspicious six um, but it's got SPF and it's kind of quite moisturizing so I find that product with my marula oil by Drunk Elephant quite enough to moisturize my skin so at this stage I'm not going to repurchase this but I really loved it and 100% would repurchase it and obviously because I bought a new sunscreen I finished another one up this is the Mecca Cosmetica mineral gel cream to save face SPF 30 now I have repurchased this a couple of times there's actually still a tiny bit in there but I couldn't be I wanted to get started on my new one um, I wouldn't repurchase this one again though I, even though I've repurchased it about two other times in the past this is about my third bottle and the reason is because I thought it was a pure mineral sunscreen but it turns out it does have um, chemical sunscreens in there as well and I really don't like the color like I'll show you guys there is still a bit in so I can probably take some out the color of this is kind of like a deep sort of nude color and even though when you blend it out it's meant to be invisible I definitely found that it didn't really show up as such but I would cling to like dryness so if I had any little bits of dryness which I sometimes get around the sides of my temples I found that the orangey color of this product would actually cling to it now that I've discovered this other one by it's by Antipodes this um, SPF that I use now I'm not going to repurchase that one I didn't actually finish this next product up in the last three months, but I found it just empty in my drawers when I was cleaning it out, so I must have finished it a while ago. It's the Belief, the True Cream Aqua Bomb. So this like product, this bottle I got a good like, maybe it was a year ago, maybe even a year and a half ago, like I got this quite a while ago. Um, and at the time, I really enjoyed it, not so much as a moisturizer, but as a primer, because it was very quite like slippy and very, very very dewy I almost found it a little I don't know I just didn't really love it in my skincare routine but I liked using it as a base for makeup so I don't know if I would rebuy it but I did really enjoy it back in the day it does contain lots of silicons and there were a few other ingredients that looked a little bit questionable in it too oh fragrance and essential oils but if you don't mind those things in your skincare if that's like not a bother to you then I did really like the way this hydrated it felt really nice on the skin now my lovely Mr. Morton my husband he actually threw this in here as well because this is his moisturizer he doesn't use many beauty products but he does use moisturizer which I'm very thankful for I just wish he would use a damn SPF I bought him one and he just doesn't ever use it but this is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream and he ran out of this finally this is quite an old bottle this actually used to be mine I bought this like two years ago and I didn't like it because it was way too heavy for my skin and made me break out um, so I got him using it and he loved it because it was actually something that was sort of rich enough to like counteract that he's got very very dry almost like psoriasis-y sort of condition in his beard like so he gets very dry skin on his face and he loved this so when he ran out I was like yes I'm gonna go and buy him the SPF version because there's a new uh, ultra facial cream with SPF that has been released but unfortunately they don't sell it in Australia because it's very hard to get SPF products approved here which is why we don't have the drunk elephant SPFs here the only reason is because the Australian like regulations are so strict like it just takes so long for a sunscreen to get approved here um, so unfortunately I can't buy him this cream with sunscreen. I actually think though I might get him one of these, one of the Lala Retros, because I think this would be better for his skin condition. I'm curious to see if the Drunk Elephant system would work for him, so I think I might buy him the Lala Retro actually, um, instead of the Kiehl's, and if he doesn't like it, then I can use it, because I know I love the Lala. We're nearly on to makeup products, and I have quite a few to talk about, so it's going to be exciting. But my, um, I went through a body butter, so this is the Soap and Glory, the Righteous Butter. I've had this for quite a few months. I got this uh, sort of mm, probably about eight months ago actually and I'm really bad really bad at using body cream but it's sort of been my mission the last month I've sort of started to apply body cream every morning after my shower um, and so I ran out of this actually quite fast once I started you know telling myself I needed to apply it every day and I love it like I absolutely love the scent of this it's such a beautiful like it smells like perfume and I this lingers on the skin all day so if you don't like the scent of this then I wouldn't get it because it will stay around you can smell it on your arms all day but I love it because I sometimes don't even have to put fragrance on because it is so beautiful it smells like an expensive perfume but it's just your body cream this actually is very similar to like the Miss Dior perfumes um, so if you own that it's a really nice thing to layer under it to kind of extend the wear of your perfume because it's got a very similar scent 
I would definitely repurchase this, but I am trying to work through a few other ones in my sort of stash of body moisturizers just because I have a bit of a backlog because I was really bad at applying them and would kind of like end up with too many. So moving on to makeup y goodies, I thought I'd start out first with some sponges. They've done their dash and it's definitely time to get rid of them. So firstly I have a very old sad looking beauty blender. Obviously these look a bit gross, I always wash them after I use them, but if I've used them for the last time and they've been rolling around in my drawer then I just I biff them. It's not like I give these away or anything. I used to buy beauty blenders all the time. Um, they were my only sponge that I would use. I would repurchase this, but only if I, for some reason, couldn't get my hands on the Flower Beauty sponges anymore. I'm also getting rid of one of these. This is a Flower Beauty sponge. This is my first one that I had, and it's definitely been, um, I've definitely been using this for quite a few months. It's time to, time to go, and I've got two others. I've started myself on a new Flower Beauty sponge, and I have a brand new backup as well, so I should be good for sponges for, like, the rest of the year. I also finished up the Too Faced Hangover. I always go to say it's called the Hangover Primer, because I also have the primer, but this is the setting spray. I absolutely love Love the setting spray it's silicon free it's alcohol free so it's basically just or well, it's even oil free I, what even is in it then I think it's literally just like coconut water but it's so nice my gosh does it make your makeup look beautiful and it really like gives your skin a nice burst of moisture at the moment I'm working my way through this pink like Mac fix plus as you can see and I do have a lot of setting sprays in my like cupboard over that my little drawers over there I've got a big stash so I don't know if I'll be able to go out and buy it straight away but maybe if I end up missing it enough I'll go repurchase it once I run out of the Mac one I'm kind of down to setting sprays that I'm not as in love with so I feel like I'd love to run out to Mecca and buy this one again now for makeup I managed to finally finish up my hourglass veil mineral primer <laughs> which uh which I'm very sad about actually and I definitely will go and repurchase this I'm thinking about getting the massive size like the one that's in the tube I like the the packaging of the size but obviously it might be a bit more economical to get the tube so we'll see what happens there is still a tiny bit in the bottom but I really have sat there and scraped out as much as I could actually get my hands on um, so I feel like I've really got my money's worth out of this this is my favorite primer of all time so yes 100% recommend it will 100% rebuy it the next product is my Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. So I'm going to be starting a declutter series um, and it's going to be done a little bit different to other people, like how other people do declutters online. Um, but this is a product that while I was sort of looking through my drawers and sorting through, this is one that I was like, I just need to, I just need to get rid of it. Because um, I do hold on to a lot of foundations for swatching purposes, like even if I'm not using them regularly and a normal person would probably think, oh, I should declutter that one because I'm, I'm not a big fan of the formula. I actually really love the formula of the Urban Decay Naked Skin, but I'm down down to like this much like I only have the tiniest little bit left so I kept it just for swatching but the last time I used it in a swatch it was so much darker than it actually is like it's not the fairest foundation around but it, it looked a lot darker I think it's actually started to oxidize in the bottle this is well over two years old I would say that this is possibly I mean on the back it says six months <laughs> and I've had this for well over two years so I think this last little bit is not even worth keeping for swatching purposes so I'm gonna get rid of that um I would happily repurchase just that I don't know if I would right now just because I do have so many foundations and I feel like I can happily give a recommendation of that without actually having to have it you know in physical form in my house but but we'll see in the future I might get my hands on that one again I have three mascaras to talk about um I feel like I talked about this one on my last empties if I didn't oh, I don't know I'm looking at these thinking I swear I got rid of these last time but anyway maybe I went through another one I get confused but but this is the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara I'm pretty sure I popped this in here right at the beginning of the three months that might be why it feels like I've already talked about it but it was just a long time ago when I put it in and um, this is my favorite favorite mascara probably of all time so I definitely will repurchase that I'm just trying to work my way through the last few that I've got in my stockpile because I really want to get to the point where I just don't hold on to mascaras I know very quickly whether I like a mascara or not and I'm very reluctant to try and make one work like I want it to just work from the get-go and this is one that does so I absolutely love it and it doesn't get it doesn't change over time it doesn't get worse it just stays awesome for a good solid like four months you can get out of this and then it starts to get a bit dry so I am going to repurchase this one I also have the benefit roller lash and I actually did repurchase this but in the mini size I needed to spend like a tiny bit more at Sephora to get some sort of I think it was a discount, you had to spend over a certain amount and you got money back. So I was like, well, it basically means I'm getting a free product. So I just popped a mini size of this in, which I thought would be good for travel. And also because I do plan to repurchase the Monsieur Big, I didn't want to have like too many full size mascaras around. Um, I love the Roller Lash, this would probably be my second favourite mascara. 
it just gives quite a different look to the Monsieur bag. It's a little bit more lengthening, less volumizing, so it's quite nice to have both, but if I could only pick one, it would be the Monsieur bag. And then lastly, I have this, the Jordana Best Lash Extreme Volumizing Mascara. I've repurchased this so many times over the years, so many, but I, this is the last bottle I will ever repurchase because they've changed the formula. They have to have changed the formula. So many of you agreed with me when I talked about this in a recent video, like it might have been a month or two ago, where I was like, they've changed the formula on this. I used to rebuy it all the time, but I won't be repurchasing this just because I know it doesn't perform like it used to. So that's... I don't really mind though because it's quite hard to get in Australia and I have to do a specific like beauty joint order to get it so it's not the biggest loss and I don't mind buying expensive mascaras because I think mascara for me is something that like really changes the look of my whole face so I'd rather just invest in one that I love. And lastly I have two, <laughs> two more of the BH Cosmetics Studio HD brow pencils so yes I go through these like mad because I really really love them. Actually at the moment since I lightened my hair I've been using my e.l.f. brow kit that's what's through my brows today so I haven't been reaching for these as much but I do have one more. The last time I did a BH Cosmetics order I ordered three of them so these are the two to. I've just put the last one into my brow drawer so I do feel like I'm gonna do an order from BH Cosmetics soon and buy like five of them because I really do love them. These are in the shade blonde. They are a touch deeper than the e.l.f. brow kit but they're still not like super dark brows on me so I really do love them and they're really good for travel because it's so like skinny and tiny. They just they're amazing. So I'll definitely repurchase these. And that is it for my empties. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I really tried to keep each review really small. So hopefully this video is not longer than like 25 minutes. <laughs> that would be great. If you did enjoy this and you're looking forward to next time's empties, then don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so I know to keep making these. If you're new here, I'd love for you to subscribe. I do make at least three videos a week. And until next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful couple of days. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.